Welcome to my lecture online. Now let's take a look at these examples and something is different. Notice instead of having y equals x squared, we have x equal y squared. So essentially they're not what we call functions. They're what we call relations. But we should still know how to graph them. And essentially what we're doing here is we're exchanging the format from the y-axis to the x-axis. So if this was, and let me do it in a different color, if we had the equation y equals x squared, well we know that that would be parabola where the vertex is at the origin and it would open upward towards the positive y-axis like this. But if we have something that looks like this, we're simply taking that and we're moving it into the x-direction, so that means that this graph will look like this, the parabola would look like this, it would open towards the positive x-axis and it looks exactly the same except it simply shifted towards the x-direction. If it's a negative y-squared instead of a positive y-squared, then instead of opening towards the positive x-axis, it will open towards the negative x-axis. So again, for comparison, if we had y equals negative x-squared, that would be graphed like this. And we have x equals negative y squared. It simply flips it over to the, towards the other direction, and it's going to look like this. And finally, x equals 2y squared. Notice that will make x grow much more quickly as we add to y, which means it will make it a skinnier graph. So instead of making it look like this, it'll look much skinnier. But again, for comparison's sake, we'll do the same over here. We have y equals 2x squared, so we know that would be a much skinnier parabola that would look like this. And in the same fashion, when we draw the x equals 2y squared, we'll get something that looks a lot skinnier and looks like this. So that's how we graph these relations. They're not functions anymore because notice if I draw a vertical line, it crosses the graph twice, which makes it no longer a function. But again, we should know how to graph them, and there are some simplistic examples of how to graph x as a function of y squared, and that is how it's done. You can always cheat and just write the x to be the top vertex. That's an interesting point. Could I cheat and write it like that? Okay, let's try that. I think that's a good suggestion. Um, however, I guess you could do that. So let's try that. So we have an x here and a y there. And then you would graph x equals y squared. And so that would make it look like this. So, and it's kind of an interesting mapping. So if you take it like this, and I, I guess I should grab my notebook here. So if you grab it like this, and you may want to make it look like that, you have to kind of flip it over like that so that x comes down this way, so it's kind of like a, a, a flipping like that, and then the y will then flip up. So you take this and you flip it like this, then the y comes up and the x goes that way, and you have, yeah, you have the same graph. So it's really interesting concept. That's easier. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know the teacher would like it. It's absolutely correct. The teacher should like it because it's absolutely correct, but some teachers don't. I like it.